Hello, my name is Vera Hello, my name is Vera Engelhorn, and today I'd like to show you some tips and tricks for working with Pass 4000. First, I'd like to show you some tricks in the tool settings, which you'll find under Tools, Tool Settings. Here, in the Backup Manager, you'll find the path where you save your backup copies. You can change this as required. If you prefer projects in a particular language, you can also set the default programming language. The default programming language will then always appear whenever you create a new POU. The default is exactly what you set here. If you now create a new POU, the default programming language will be selected as STL. During programming, if you want to have the properties field somewhere else or wish to enlarge it, you can move it as required or display it in full screen by double clicking on the tab. All of these windows work this way and can be moved as needed. You can return to the original view via window, Restore Default Workspace. For fast I.O. mapping, you can select a variable, such as Emergency Stop Input 1, right-click, and then click on Filter by Valid I.O. Mapping Targets. The safety inputs that match the data type will open in the device tree, so you don't need to click through the whole tree to find the correct module. The non-safety related variables work exactly the same way. In this case, all the standard output modules with the respective data type will open. Another tip I'd like to show you is for comparing projects. If you have an offline and an online project selected, and you right-click on Compare, the differences between the two projects will be illustrated graphically. As a result, you can establish with a single click whether anything has changed, and if so, where. You can also follow the same procedure with two blocks. Working with shortcuts also makes your life easier with Pass. A list of all the shortcuts is available under Help, Keyboard Shortcuts. Here you can view all the shortcuts. I'll show you another trick to save you time when creating a project. Instead of clicking on Build and running the build process, you can click directly on Project Download. You will automatically be asked if you wish to build the project. The build is then executed, and you've saved yourself a few clicks. Now you know a few tricks for working with Pass 4000.